Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I love you too. <laughs> yeah. I, I've been loving Chicago for 50 years. That's a whole lot of love. I, thank you. Thank you so much. I, 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 just, I just spoke with Mayor Emanuel to congratulate him. And, and, I, and I wished him and his family well. This was, this was a hard fought race, but it's over now. So if you would, let me tell you a story. It's a, it's, a, it's a story of a little boy and a big city. Nearly 50 years ago, this little boy came to the city from another land. <laughs> and, and, the people, and the people of this city, warm and kind and loving, welcomed this boy nurtured him, taught him right from wrong, gave him opportunities he could not have imagined. This city and its people have welcomed children from other lands, just like this little boy. For nearly 200 years, the city is Chicago, the people are each and every one of you, and that little boy, now all grown up with kids and grandkids of his own, stands before you tonight humbly yeah. and gratefully as a candidate for mayor. The people of Chicago have made me who I am today. We may have missed by a little, but you put me here tonight. And I... Woo! All of you, and I will not forget you. Tonight, tonight, I have something to say to the next generation, to all the little boys and girls watching. We didn't lose today, we tried today. Yeah. We fought hard for what we believed in. You don't succeed at this or anything else unless you try. Yeah. So keep trying. Keep standing up for yourselves and what you believe in. And someday one of you will be standing right here where I am tonight. Today, tens of thousands of people from all over this great city came together. People from the north side, from the south side, from the southeast side, and the northwest side, and the southwest side. People, every color, every creed, people who speak every language on the face of this earth. People, good, hardworking people came together and spoke with one clear voice to say, you want to be heard. And you want a government that works for you. You want a city that works for everyone, and I mean everyone. Not just for downtown or for the neighborhoods, but for both. We've got some big problems in Chicago, and no matter who is mayor, we've got to work together to solve them. In, in the last 15 years, Chicago has lost over 200,000 people. They just up and left. You can't have a thriving city if everybody's leaving. Yes, we have a debt crisis and a pension crisis, 
But that's because of the one thing. We have a growth crisis in Chicago. Long term, Chicago can't solve its problems unless it grows. That means people moving here, not leaving here. That means a growing middle class, not a shrinking one. We can't tax our way out of this crisis. We, we can't keep borrowing our way out of this crisis. We can only grow our way out of this crisis. There are too many shootings on our streets, too much violence in our neighborhoods. To grow, to keep people in our city, to attract new people, we need to end the violence, and I mean end it. Yeah. Yeah. Ending the violence isn't just the right thing to do, it's the smart thing to do. We need to stop the waves and waves of school closings and privatization schemes in this city. <laughs> to, grow, to grow and keep our young families, we need to do better than improve our schools. We need to make them a model for the nation. Making, making our schools a model for the nation isn't just the right thing to do, it's the smart thing to do. We need to stop paying too much attention to what happens downtown and too little attention to our neighborhood. We're listening in live right now as Commissioner Jesus Chuy Garcia conceding this run, this mayoral run that's been going on now for a couple of months now, saying... Saying in part that his campaign didn't lose today, they tried today. On the other hand, other side of your screen there, Mayor Rahm Emanuel, just re-elected, about to give his victory speech at Plumbers Hall. A city with great schools is a more... Oh, yeah. Before I can, let me, I want to thank, just, I want to thank my wonderful friend, my dearest friend, my greatest ally, my wife, Amy. I just want you to know, because she voted to this morning with Zach, who got a chance to vote for the first time in his ever election. They, they were undecided until this morning, but they broke. While a lot of people describe Chicago a lot of ways, all of us describe it as home. To the second city that voted for a second term and a second chance. I've had the good fortune to serve two presidents. I've had the fortune of being elected to Congress. Being mayor of the city of Chicago is the greatest job I've ever had and the greatest job in the world. I am humbled. I am humbled at the opportunity to continue to serve you, the greatest city, with the greatest people for the next four years. I want to congratulate Chewy Garcia for running an excellent race. I want, to I want to also congratulate him. He is a good man who clearly loves the city of Chicago and clearly loves his family.
As an immigrant, he represents the promise of Chicago. And I want everybody to hear this loud and clear across this great country. You just saw an election between both a grandson of an immigrant and an immigrant, which is why we are the greatest city in America. And don't let anybody ever tell you. Around the world, there is no other city that an immigrant from Mexico and the grandson of an immigrant from Moldova could both run for the highest office of this great city. That is why we are the greatest city. Because here in Chicago, here in Chicago, we're immigrants who come for the promise, the promise of Chicago, that if they work hard, they love their kids, give them an education, their kids can take them as far as their dreams have, and that's what this election showed. And to all the voters, I want to thank you for putting me through my paces. I will be a better, ma I will be a better mayor because of that. I will carry your voices, your concerns, into the office of the mayor's office. I hear you on the importance of neighborhood high schools and better choices. I hear you on the importance of raising a minimum wage so that no family who works ever raises a child in poverty ever again. Not in the city of Chicago that if you work, a child to be raised in a home if you work, never know that work leads to poverty. Work leads to the middle class and the American dream. I also want to be clear, I hear you about the importance of finding jobs for our ex-offenders who made a different choice in life, and they too want to become home. And I hear you about the importance of building a new Chicago where everybody gets a chance to participate in building this great city. From our roads, our waterways, our airports, our schools, our community colleges, our parks, and our playgrounds. Everybody has a chance to participate in that great exercise called building a new Chicago. <laughs> These are the North Stars that I hear from our grocery stores to our L stops to our front stoops. Chicago, I hear you. I'm proud of what we've accomplished in these past four years, but I understand the challenges we face will require me to approach them differently and work in a different fashion. The only way to meet these challenges is to bridge the gaps between the things that have divided us and start focusing on the things that unite us and bring us together. We are, the, we are the city that works. We are the city that works, and that means it has to work for everyone, in every neighborhood, in every part of the city of Chicago. And in the era of hard choices, I can't promise that everybody will be pleased with every decision. But the challenges we face we face together as one community, one city, one voice, where every voice counts. Make no mistakes, the challenges we face were not campaign talking points. The decisions we make over the next four years will determine what Chicago will look like in the next 40 years. And I, <laughs> I'm going to show you some Ram love in a second, brother. I want to offer a couple special thanks here. One, to the thousands of volunteers who went door to door and made the phone calls. I want to thank you. I want to thank my co-chairs, Susanna Mendoza, Jesse White, Luis Gutierrez, Bobby Rush. I want to thank Tamika. And specifically, I want to thank also my friends in organized labor and the business community and the community groups who contributed their time and their resources for this campaign. <laughs> to my hardworking campaign staff who I put through the paces, who went beyond the call of duty and met the challenge of this runoff and my staff at City Hall that work day in and day out to live up to the expectations of all Chicagoans.
to my, to my wife, Amy, to my children, Zachariah, Alana, and Leah, to my brothers, Ezekiel and Ari, that are here, and, and to my parents, who I want to thank for teaching all of us to not only have our convictions, but the courage to fight for them, to fight what we believe in, and for I fight for what we think is right. They are a testament. And to all the people of Chicago who have given me this incredible privilege to serve as your mayor for another four years. Thank you, God bless you, and God bless Chicago. Don Emanuel with a victory speech, re-elected four more years as mayor.